is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and welcome back to Spiegel Mom Scraps. So today I have a, a super fun layout. So I am using my hip kit for the month of February, and I am using these three pictures of my daughter's first day of in-person school. So we always take a picture at home, and I have this like little sign that says, you know, she's in sixth grade, she's 11, she wants to be a fashion designer and what day it is. Um, I didn't make my son hold up the apple this year, um, being that he is a sophomore in high school, um, but he probably would have done it for me anyway, just there wouldn't have been a smile in the picture. So I did that, and then both the kids go have gone to the same school. So Lucas went from kindergarten to eighth grade because that's as far as it goes and then um, Julianne has also been there since kindergarten so there's this one particular spot uh, at the school that I take their picture at every year I mean obviously not Lucas anymore <laughs> um, I don't get any at school uh, first day of school pictures for him because he goes by himself <laughs> so um so I did a picture of her, and then I did a picture with the mask on, um, just because I felt like that's kind of, like, the way it is. Like, I needed to document that, yes, yeah, she gets to go back to school, but she has to wear this mask all day long. So those are my three pictures. And I'm going to use this fun ledger blue paper as my background. I thought that was kind of schoolish. And then there's this beautiful floral. And I decided to run it through the middle of my page. So what I did was I basically put my, my photos kind of down where they would kind of go. Um, and then, and then tore it. So... I will probably use the other two sides of this floral paper on another layout, and I may do kind of like an opposite. Um, I might even do it with my son, even though it's black and white floral. That's okay. I like it. Um, and then they can kind of be coordinating pages, um, not necessarily a two-page layout, but, but definitely coordinating. So now I'm going to adhere that down and I'm going to kind of rough up those edges a little bit. And then here are those photos and I decided to kind of put it in order of um, how we took them and how I kind of told you about them. And then I'm going to put them all together and back them in this beautiful blue tissue paper. Now this is the tissue paper that my hip kit came wrapped in. And I am totally addicted to tissue paper. I love tissue paper behind um, my photos. And so this color was perfect. So I'm going to adhere it down. And then I am going to trim it out as if each photo has a layer of tissue paper behind it um, individually, but not individually. So. I'm going to take a little bit of time to do that. When I cut tissue paper, I prefer to cut it with large scissors. And the reason for that is I feel like you get a little bit of a jagged edge if you do too many little cuts. So if I can cut the whole section in one cut, it works much better for me. Um, so that's my little tip there. And then, um, while I am trimming that out, um, make sure you head over to the Spread the Sparkle Facebook group. There's so much inspiration there and we would love to see what you're doing with sequins or not with sequins, which, whichever you would like, as well as Instagram. There's so much fun there and you get to see all the previews, that type of thing. And then sign up for the newsletter when you go um, to purchase your sequins. Um, it comes out every Sunday and it is awesome. 
So I am using the foam from Spiegel Mom Scraps, and I love it. I have I have good nails, so you can see um, I don't have much of an issue peeling the backing off. Um, but I think any double-sided tape um, has a little bit of a learning curve if you don't have nails. So when my nails were short, I just took my fussy cutting scissors, my little tiny ones um, that have a pointy edge, and was able to pull um, the backing off no problem. So if you're having issues um, with that, um, give that a try. I love the foam because it is super sticky and I don't have to worry about um, anything going anywhere. So now I'm going to start on my embellishing. So I have this cut apart sheet that came in my kit and there's a big truck driving by. <laughs> um, I don't usually get to do my voiceovers in the middle of the day, but um, it's spring break and I have it off and so I get to play in um, my shed a little bit. So, um, so I'm going to add that cut apart sheet piece that says you are here today, which I thought was perfect because that is going to actually be the beginning of my journaling. And then from the Simple Stories chipboard sheet, I pulled several pieces, the books, the alarm clock, the um, clipboard. Um, there's like a piece that says today is a new day. Like I just thought that was super fun. And then um, that title piece that says August is from Bramble Fox. And then I am going to take some of these florals and I think they are pink fresh florals. Um, I think they're in a mess here on my desk somewhere. Yes, they are pink fresh florals from some days. So I am going to, um, do all of those florals on that top torn edge. And I am going to pop some of the like single florals and some of the leaves up on that fun foam. And then um, I do take a couple of, there's like some chipboard flare, which I, I kind of am in love with chipboard flare. <laughs> like... Like, I like flair, but I love chipboard, and so the combination of the two is, like, super fun for me. So, this Simple Stories chipboard, like, I don't even know why they bother putting glue on the back, because it never seems like, like it sticks at all. And for some reason, and I don't know if it's just the, the pieces that I've got in the past, but it feels like the Simple Stories chipboard is never like flat like it's always curved a little bit so i'm going to add my nouveau deluxe adhesive um, to stick those down and i will also stick down my bramble fox perspective with um, that nouveau deluxe adhesive as well and then i am going to bust out my sequins oh after the flare um, so I am using two of the March release sequins and they are called, um, Lost in the Pages and then Dance It Out. So the Lost in the Pages is the first one I am going to pour out and it has beautiful blues and greens and yellows and I am going to use the yellow ones to dot quite a few of the centers of the flowers. Um, I just think it adds so much to your florals just by popping a sequin in the middle. It gives it that dimension, it gives it that sparkle and shine. So you can take a fairly, I don't want to call them dull, um, floral and just jazz it up. So I do like to do that. So that is what I'm doing with the Lost in the Pages. And the way that I apply my sequins is I just do a drop of Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive, use my Crystal Katana to pick up my sequin, place it in the middle of 
wherever I am putting it and then um, use the other side of the crystal katana with the like metal tip to push them all down. So I'm going to take at the dance it out sequence and I am going to put them in an entire line almost like almost like a river underneath the bottom aspect of the torn um, paper and so the way I'm doing that is very similar to the way I did my floral sequins except for I'm going to do like a big glob of glue and then I am going to pop um, my sequins right on in the glue and smush them down with that metal piece from my crystal katana and I am going to do that all the way down so I am not going to make you watch me put every single one of these down um like I like to watch that and I super enjoy like doing a ton of sequins um it is very calming to me so um but I don't make you do it so now that that is done I am just going to do a couple of little clusters um, of a combination of both the sequins and I did there is some like orange color sequins in the dance it out and I do put those in a couple of the centers of the florals as well so that is pretty much going to do it for my layout I think I do pop in a few hidden kind of enamel dots from uh from my hip kit club as well um just a little bit I wanted to add a little bit more of that kind of orangey color um, so I put that down behind my journaling and um, so my journaling is done it is in the close-ups it's I started out using the card as the beginning it says you are here today finally back in person school with masks of course I was able to get my annual first day of school photos and then I dated it so I'm super proud that I have <laughs> this um, not only scrapped but journaled on so it can go in my 2020 album if you have any questions please leave them down below um, we love to chat with you we love to see um, what you're doing I do have some close-ups and um, definitely post in the Facebook group and tag us. Like if you do something like this, I would love if you would tag me so I can see what you can do because I am not always the best at scrolling Facebook. So um, here's my code crystal15 if you want to save 15% on your sequence and remember to wear your crown and I'll see you next time. Bye.